So if you remember when we covered more circle, we talked about plane stress. Well, these equations make it really easy to derive the equations for plane stress because in plane stress, and I think when I recorded those videos, I broke them out real specifically. So if you go back and watch them, it you know, should be a little short three, four minutes on plane stress. And I gave an example physically of what plane stress is. Remember, plane stress is usually associated with thin things, right? And in that, so in a plane stress scenario, sigma 1, 3, sigma 2, 3 is equal to 0. So if you just plug those guys back in, you can, you can get the, you know, the plane stress equations. And I'm just going to go ahead and write them in matrix form. So, is 2, 2. So that's the strains in terms of the stresses. And if we invert it then, So there's our, depending on which relationship is more convenient, that's the equations, the constitutive law for plane stress case. And later on in the class when we start to do the computations, we'll only do planar elasticity because, I mean, it's, it's no more difficult, well, it's, conceptually, it's no more difficult to just extend everything to the third dimension, it, but it is more time consuming and more computationally expensive. You know what, guys? I, hang on. Let's go back. I think I might have written down the wrong. OK, I apologize. This is correct. Let me. I'll clip my erasing time out of the video, so if you go back and watch it, you don't have to watch me erase. Okay. Sorry. I actually accidentally copied the, the one for uh, the plain, str uh, plain strain case that we're going to do next. So is everybody okay if I just write sigma there? <coughs>
So the sigma and the epsilon are the same as these guys. Okay, so then just last. I'll just write down the equations for the plane strain case. So in plane strain, this is the assumption. or in terms of the strain, this is the one I accidentally wrote down. All right. So those are the equations for plane strain. And they're real easy. They're real easy to derive, uh, again, just by using these equations and just plugging in the assumptions of the plane stress or plane stress. Plane, you know, plugging in these assumptions. And then you just write down the equations for whichever one's the most convenient, and then just invert it to get the other one. In terms of strains in terms of stresses, or stresses in terms of strains. 